Blackboard is our learning management system. Uh, on Blackboard, you're going to find information for all your courses, homework assignments, due dates, <coughs> and everything uh, related to your courses. So I'll show you some still pictures first, then we'll, we'll walk through a video, or we'll walk through the steps of how to access. So as mentioned uh, previously on, uh, if you're at the, the Tech Tuesdays, um, the easiest way to sign into Blackboard is through Gmail. Uh, we use single sign-on, so if you're in your Burden Catholic email, you just click the waffle or the app launcher on the top, and then click on the Blackboard icon, and it'll bring you right into Blackboard. Okay? It's probably the easiest way to do it. Uh, you can, if you want to, go to the Burden Catholic um, uh, Blackboard homepage, which is burdencatholic.blackboard.com. Um, just make sure that before you sign into Blackboard, you're signed into your Burden Catholic Gmail account, or it'll prompt you to do it when you go to log in. Um, you want to be signed into that BC email account in the same browser that you are using um, Blackboard in. I do find the first way is the easiest one, but um, you know some people like using this way. It really doesn't matter. So once you get into Blackboard, this is what you'll see. You'll see a list of your classes, um, and in each class you'll find course content, syllabus, uh, assignments, grades, um, anything class-related uh, you'll find uh, under each class. And then the other piece that I want to show you before we do it live um, is our organization, um, school-wide announcements information. This is where we'll post stuff um, like the family handbook that's available to the student body, but it's not really for the larger community. So we'll put it in this organization called school-wide announcements and, um, and information. So um, why don't we take a look at some of this on the live side. So I'm going to go to my demo computer, and I'm already in my Burn Catholic email account. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the app launcher. I'm going to scroll down, and I'll click on Blackboard Learn. And I'm being prompted to um, uh, which email address do I want to use. Um, and I will use my AJSpiegel26 at BurdenCatholicHS.org. And now it's going to bring me right into Blackboard. So I'm, auto, uh, I'm automatically signed in. I go right to where I need to be. Okay. So here I have all of my classes that I'm enrolled in for this year. Um, my three trimester courses, as well as all my full year courses. So I, I doubt anybody has posted anything yet uh, since it's still before school. But um, let's say I was looking for my English class, which is right here. If I click the link, this will open my English class. Um, and then on the left-hand side, once my teacher sets everything up, I would have course content. I would have uh, my syllabus, my assignments, you know, homework. All this stuff would be on the left-hand side. All right, every teacher should be setting up Blackboard the same, so you'll see the content link, the assignments link, and so forth on each one. Um, let's just poke around here. I don't know if anybody else has done any setup yet. Um, no, they'll all, but they all will look the same. So this is how you'll find you know, each course that you're enrolled in. Um, you'll just click on it right here, okay? Um, and once your teachers post, if they post um, assignment links, um, like the summer reading, which you'll see in a different video, uh, you can click on those links and, and submit assignments. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is the organization's link, which is over here on the left-hand side. And this is the school-wide announcements and information um, that I referred to before. And in here, we have like the family handbook or anti-bullying policy. Um, we'll have cafeteria information, stuff that's available, you know, that's important for the school, but um, not the greater community. So if, we, you know, if there might be times where we refer you to Blackboard to look for something or for an important link, uh, maybe fill out a form, whatever, uh, you'll generally find it here, right? So um, that's Blackboard in a nutshell. You can download, there is an iOS app. Uh, which I'll talk about in a different video to, for Blackboard. Um, but to get started, the first place to do it is on a, a web browser. Um, and I think you'll have the most interactions with Blackboard um, via your web browser. Uh, and certainly as your classes start, your teachers will begin to, um, uh, you know, they'll show you where things are on Blackboard and how they post things and, um, you know, if there's anything special that you need from Blackboard, right? So um, if you have trouble accessing for whatever reason, you want to reach out to the help desk. Um, and... Um, that's Blackboard in a nutshell.